everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is a review of a skin from DiabloSkins.com Now I've got two different skins here uh, This one, really really nice, but I'm going to cover this in a different video So I'm going to pop that to one side This one is called Art1 and it's for the iPhone 4 But Diablo Skins do lots and lots of different skins for all different devices uh, mobile devices, games consoles, uh, iPod touches, lots of different things. Uh, just so happens I've got an iPhone 4. And in this video I'm just going to try something a little bit different. Now a lot of people would apply these to a sort of naked device. So no screen protectors on or anything. But I like my matte screen protector. So I'm going to try and apply this on top of the screen protector. Now, I'm not going to sure if, not really sure if it's going to work, but I really wanted to just just try it for you. And and then I'm going to cover off some of the sort of added value you get with one of these skins, which is really quite exciting. So let's give my iPhone 4 a little wipe, just to get rid of any grease and dust that might be on top here. And here we've got the skin itself. And let me just peel this off of the backing paper and we're going to apply this to my device so very sort of tricky I'm going to stop talking so I can concentrate and the idea is really to try not to um, stretch this whilst you're applying it so we're going to use that middle speaker to line it up and then we're going to come down the sides just let this fall into place because it should line up perfectly and if it doesn't then I'll take it off again and apply it again so moving down the device let's just have a look and check that this home button area lines up this is looking good it's looking good there we go that has actually gone on just got a little bit of a problem in this area here it's actually gone on really well so let's rub this down into place got the strip down there we're going to rub around in this bottom area and then up this side here it's actually gone over the side a tiny bit but that is pretty good pretty good we've also got a little cutout area here which I missed so I'm going to just pick this out just to uncover the uh, top area here which has obviously got some sensors on the top of the iPhone so I'm just going to get this out with my fingers probably best if you used a pair of tweezers or something to get this little top section out there we go Let's just ease that out and remove this there we go absolutely stunning so that is the front applied we can also pop the home button bit on as well let's do the home button very sticky I've got it on my fingers there but let's just peel the home button off let's go for the home button as well and we'll get this in place make sure we line up the design like so there we go, so that's the home button in place liking it a lot, really liking the look of this let's go round to the back and again I've already got a screen or a back protector on my device but I'm going to leave that on, why not trying something a little bit different. In in the second review where I cover off this other skin when I cover off this one I'll be doing it on a naked device but I just wanted to try this to see if it works. So we're going to go up this way, we've got a cut out there for the camera and flash so we're going to let's just pick those out first get rid of those. So we've got rid of that one and let's just, just see if that one comes out, it should come out. So let's peel this off and you can see there we've got the little um, little round circle there pop that to one side and this is the back so we're going to go with the top edge first just 
so that's lined up nicely with the camera and then we're just going to lay this down check it's lined up which it is and we're just going to push this down onto the device so we get a nice smooth application oh wow that has gone on so so nicely I'm so pleased with that that is awesome love the design on that wow I really do like that a, a lot that is nice so let's turn my device on and pop my code in here now the added value let's just zoom in on this a little bit for you on your skin you've got a website here wallpaper.diabloskins.com and you've also got a code so let's go into my browser and we will go into wallpaper dot diablo skins dot com tap go and then if we zoom in here it's asking us for a code so we're going to tap that code in that came with my device so we tap this in go to the next box go to the next box click done and submit and that takes us to the wallpaper and we can tap and hold this say save image go back out to our settings and then once we're in settings we are going to go down to wallpaper tap here camera roll scroll all the way down go into this one here do set set to both and then back out to our home screen and there we go wow that is just awesome I really do like that absolutely stunning let's look at the back as well so obviously we've got the nice back really nice fit to it look at the quality of the printing uh, the quality of the design as well really superb and then back round onto the front and we've got that sort of seamless design so we've got the home button covered the whole of the device covered and then obviously that custom wallpaper as well absolutely stunning let's just scroll across that's what the wallpaper looks like and it just finishes off the device so so nicely so this was art one if you like this one if you want to pick your own one you need to go to diabloskins.com and then you can pick your own design and it's going to cost you around about £8.95 uh, for the iPhone 4s the other ones do vary in price but for the iPhone 4 ones £8.95 if you spend over £20 you get free delivery in the UK as well this is the Diablo skin skin for the Apple iPhone 4 absolutely love it thank you very much for watching please do come back soon and check out more videos on the Geek Noise channel